Hello guys and welcome to Metaspeema. This video was requested by one of my viewers. It's a video going over the faults I've got with my BMW 116i, which has the N13 engine. It's a 2012 one with 40,000 kilometers, which I think is about the 25,000 mile mark. At the end, I shall also go over the issues that I've had with this car, which is not many at all. Starting with the first fault inside the car, it begins with the steering. The steering itself is very good, it drives nicely, no weird clunks or anything, but when you've been driving for about one hour, the um, steering squeaks as you turn the wheel slightly. It's um, nothing mechanical, as far as I know, it's just an issue with um, certain parts rubbing somewhere when the interior is hot but I'm gonna find how to sort this issue because this year I've um, basically been driving my car a little bit more than last year I think last year I did 500 kilometers which is not much at all I believe this issue happens from memory um, when the car is hot anyway and in Moscow it's super hot at the moment sorry uh, super hot at the moment so yeah, squeaky steering is one when it's hot. The next issue is just down here. The next issue is to do with the fan speed. When I turn the um, fan speed up towards the top end, it makes a really loud noise, which I believe is over from this section over here. So I'm going to make a video on how to sort that. I believe that there's a certain um, filter that is perishing and um, it's allowing dirt to get in but I'm not too sure and I will sure work it out. So those two issues are the only issues I have with the interior of my car. Now let's go to the outside. So the issues I have with the exterior of the car are to do with the previous owner. I didn't do any of this. But it's basically cosmetic issues. Um, I should just walk you around the car now. Starting with the front, on the front bumper, we have a few scratches here. And the problem with the 1 Series is, um, it shows up all the scratches very easy. Um, try to get low enough. Down here. And... down here, I think if you can see it, it's badly scratched. This is mainly due to the last owner not stopping for these. Um, as you can see they're quite high in Russia. So a few issues with scratches all over the front bumper and I'm guessing this is from someone's door down the side of the car though it's very good I don't know if you can see it but just here on my car depends on the angle you look at it there's a slight tiny little ding where um, another car hit their car door against this which is quite common in Moscow and it does my head in this door here was replaced a few years ago because some some um, let's just say a stupid Russian man decided to kick the door in just here and it was easier for them just to replace the door um, at my BMW dealership some people have no brains there's a little ding here where someone's obviously knocked it with a bumper as you can see here there's a scratch just on the seal this is where the last owner um, parked on the corner and forgot the corner was there when she drove away and left a scratch. All four of these hubcaps um, were damaged by the previous owner too, scratching and curbing them in certain areas. But that's quite normal, um, especially in Moscow. But it's very frustrating at the same time. Oh, and the last bit of damage I just remembered is this one down here 
where the last owner reversed it into a curb. These curbs here are quite low in Russia, <laughs> but normally they're a lot higher than this. This rear panel here had an issue in the past before I bought my car, which I knew about. Um, someone basically pushed it in there and they resprayed it at the BMW dealership before I bought it. And it looks nice, except now it's developing a fault. I'll try and zoom in for you. Just there, as you can see, the um, people are watching me. As you can see here, the paint is coming away from the wheel arch, which is awful. Especially since it was done by a, a BMW dealership. I don't know which dealership it was, I have to look in my book, but it's not good at all. It must have been sprayed about four years ago. I shall take this um, car in to have its bodywork um, sorted out because I don't like having scratches and this kind of issue on my car. I want to fix it before it gets worse and yeah, you understand. The next issue is actually an issue from the F20, F21 itself as it's just started bubbling up here. I will also get that looked at. I would do it myself, but I'm not really sure on how to do bodywork. And also, on this rear badge, you can see it started um, going funny on the chrome just around here, which is a pain in the bum, as I don't like my cars looking rough, even though it's dirty at the moment. Next issue with the bodywork is just here. I'm guessing water is getting underneath this and making it bubble. I'm trying to zoom in for you. There you go. Can you see it? Not good. There you go. You might see it better there. The other side's perfect. Anyway, mechanically, this car is sound and sweet. Um, no issues with the gearbox. The engine runs nice. Um, yeah, it's a good car. All I've got to do is replace the front pads, but because I'm making a video, I shall change the front discs anyway, even though they don't need changing. I shall also show you how to bleed the brakes all round. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Now I'm going to talk about the issues I've had with this car in the past, which is not many at all, really. The main issue I had, which made me, bit, which made me panic, was the oil level was rising, not dropping. And if the oil level rises, there can be a few issues. I sniffed the oil and it smelt like it was um, petrol. Petrol was getting into the oil. And I did loads of tests myself and it. I worked out at being the sensitive of the injectors. I took it to my dealership and um, my good friend there confirmed my suspicions and it was in fact a fuel injector which was blocked or stuck open. So what they did then was take all the fuel injectors out and stuck them in the special machine and cleaned them. And they also, <laughs> this is quite frustrating, I changed my spark plugs and the week later they needed to replace them again and so now they have the proper BMW spark plugs on. They charged me for diagnostics and cleaning the injectors and some other tests, 22,000 rubles, which is about 230 pound, I think. And I was quite happy with that as um, it was in the dealership for about eight hours getting fixed. My friend Dimitri from the BMW dealership told me, Matthew, just start using V-Power and start driving your car harder. This will clean out the system and he is correct. The car is running a lot better now which is a relief to me. The oil level staying the same, it's not dropping, and it has a lot more performance too. Sorry, I'm just so hot in this car. I've shut the window so people can't actually hear what I'm saying because I feel a bit stupid speaking to the camera, especially since I find it hard speaking to the camera anyway. <laughs> um, other issues I've had with this car 
Uh, none really. <laughs> it's been a great car. The previous owner only had one issue apart from the cosmetic stuff. And that issue was to do with the cooling system. Basically, one of the clips um, split open and let coolant drop everywhere. And um, that was replaced when it was under warranty, which was about 10,000 kilometers ago. As you know, I don't really drive my car much. But yeah, so basically this car is very, very good. It just frustrates me that it's not um, looking as sharp as it should. I know it doesn't have um, big, massive alloys and all that, but for me, I like it being pristine. And I know this car is dirty. I know I get comments in the, by the, from the viewers saying, Matthew, why don't you clean your car? It's filthy. And the main reason is I have to take it to a special place to get it cleaned. And I hate people cleaning my car because they don't seem to clean it properly. Um, I used to have a valeting business years ago and I could see that they're using the wrong materials, they're using sponges and all that kind of stuff. So what I would really like to do is take my car out of the illegal zone, probably to my country house, and um, get it and spend time cleaning it there with all my good polishes and all that. And I also want to spend hoovering out my car, but I can't hoover my car that easy unless, unless I take it to get it cleaned because I live in an apartment in Moscow. And as most people do, I think about 90% of people in Moscow live in apartments because I've never seen a house in Moscow. And if I do see a house, it's usually a very, very small one, which is like a few million pound, which is a bit out of my, <laughs> a bit out of my range. So, frustration. I hope you liked looking at my thoughts on my car. Yes, it's not perfect, but I shall aim to make it perfect. What I will also do is go over the money I've actually spent in this car over the years, like how much I've spent servicing the car, how much I've spent fixing the car's parts, all that kind of stuff. And you'd be surprised how low it is. Anyway, have a good day and any questions, just message down below. <laughs> Goodbye.